The second largest bank in US history just collapsed and it seems like it just came out of nowhere. Silicon Valley Bank is no more. They lost $150 billion in depositor funds that was not FDIC insured. What does that mean? That means companies that have to make payroll next week do not have cash in their checking accounts because they're gone to pay their employees. What are long-term effects of this? Is SVB was responsible for financing a majority of startups in San Francisco. There's no one to go to to raise money anymore. All these VCs are out money. There was going to be major contagion and there's going to be liquidations by these companies that have to come up with money they lost, you know, seamlessly staying in their bank. So there's definitely fallout. Um, you know, the Fed's raising interest rates. Everyone knows that the system's over leveraged and things are going to collapse. Everyone's talking about this, but what they're not talking about was what's, you know, a couple of steps down the road. What's a couple of steps down the road is more banks collapse, industries fail, people outcry for bailouts. You will have a bailout unlike any bailout you've ever seen in your life. It will dwarf the 2008 bailout. And then that is when you're going to have real inflation in the United States of America and you will have real problems in this country. And this is when you're going to want to own hard assets like Bitcoin, gold and silver, and you're going to want to take it out of town. So if you follow me, um, we have residencies, visas, and second passports in Latin America. I have one of the largest telegram gr groups of this kind. So join for free.